well so today we will learn about covariance before we proceed i would just like to suggest you if you have not seen this particular video i am giving the link in description section please do not hesitate to check this out okay please just check it out okay if you see this then it will be very easy to understand the further videos right anyway this is going to be fine in any case so as per wikipedia this is what wikipedia has to say about covariance you can just pause the video and go through this definition let me make it very simple for you let's try to break down this word in two parts so if you observe this is amalgamation of two separate words one is co plus variance what does co means co means mutual or together or etc whatever you want you can say right and then variance is nothing but varying so here we simply trying to say that when we find when two random entities or variables are varying together either in same direction or in opposite direction so actually we are trying to find the covariance right let's see what wikipedia says about it here it says in probability theory and statistics covariance is a measure of the joint variability of two random variables right so this is what exactly we do in covariance in short covariance is nothing we use this to find the relationship between two variables two random variables right like we just saw in the definition now the question comes what sort of relation so let's consider these are the two variables which we have one is gdp of any country the other one is nifty nifty is nothing but nifty 50 companies okay now if you don't know what nifty is just consider that this is a variable now when you try to find the relation between both of these two variables what sort of relation we are trying to find we simply try to check whether both of these two things are positively related or negatively related all right so okay no problem if you didn't understand let's try to understand this with the help of an example right and let's see how do we find that okay how do we find this relationship so here there could be four possible scenarios and two possible relations before we proceed to the example let's consider this thing what are the four possible scenarios there could be one scenario when these two variables are varying in the same direction means when GDP is increasing, Nifty is also increasing. The another scenario will be both of these two variables are going downward. Means when GDP is falling, Nifty is also falling. Okay. Then there could be a scenario when GDP is falling, but Nifty is, sorry, GDP is increasing, but Nifty is falling. Or it could be the other way when GDP is falling, but Nifty is going up. So what we see is, four possible scenarios now it makes it frames two possible relations right this is the first one when both of these two variables are moving in same direction and when this happens we say that both of these two variables are positively varying or positive sharing the positive relation but if you say in this example in these two scenarios both of these two variables are moving in opposite directions right so in this case we simply say that the relation is negative now let's take an example here you have both of these two variables okay before we proceed further let me just tell you here we have taken gdp which is nothing but gross domestic product production or this is nifty all right so here this is just sample of five observation but here we're gonna consider this as whole population okay if you don't understand the difference between sample and population it's absolutely fine just here hear me out okay now we have to find the covariance so what is the first step first step will be find the mean for both of these two variables so this is the first variable this is the second variable so first thing which we're going to do is find mean for both of these two variables now how to find the mean is something which i have explained in my very first video so you can check out the playlist L link is given in the description section okay now once you are done with finding the mean what is the next step the next one comes subtract each element from each of the variable from their corresponding mean what is, is it trying to say is let's say gdp and its mean so what you have to do is you have to find the difference of both of these two things then this then this means for each of the element 
in both of these two variables means for gdp and for nifty both because we have to find the relation between gdp and nifty that's why we are doing this thing so when you find the difference this is what you get for both of these two variables okay now the next step is multiply these differences together so what is it that exactly we need to multiply so we need to multiply this difference and this difference together means 2.5 into minus 500 so when you do this this is what you get now once you are done with this operation what you need to do is find the mean of this particular product okay so th this is the product which we have got now you need to find mean for this particular column how are you gonna find we all know that to find the mean of any variable what we need to do is we sum up all the observation in that particular variable and then we divide with the number of observation we have in that particular variable so we, here if we take the sum it will come 6200 and when you take the count it is it will be six and when you divide it this is what you get all right now let's see how can you do this in python so here we are in python here we have our data set created the first variable which we are going to create is this one find the mean for gdp how are we going to do that we simply we have imported numpy uh, library so using that we're going to calculate it okay np dot mean and in that what we gonna find is we want to find we want to use the growth table and from that we want to use gdp variable because here we are trying to find the mean of gdp okay now the next thing which we need to do is find the mean for this particular variable all right for uh, for nifty we need to find the mean for nifty let's let's see how can we do that simple you can use the same fundamental is just you need to change the variable name over here all right and i f t y this is the spelling okay so now we are done with calculating the mean for both of these two variables right next thing which we need to do is find the i'm sorry i just said one thing differently here what we need to do is we need to find the difference between mean and gdp okay the mean which we just calculated over here so for that what you're gonna do is you just need to use subtract okay so you're gonna say np dot subtract and in that what you're gonna you do is this variable you put it over here comma you can put this variable all right so here we are done with this thing now this is this will give us the differences okay now the next thing which we're gonna do is find the mean for nifty okay so the same fundamental we're gonna use over here this particular thing i'll quickly copy and paste it over here and here i'll just change the variable name because this time we're gonna use nifty to find the mean now the next thing which we're gonna do is find differences for nifty okay so for that what i'll do is i'll copy this thing over here and paste it here okay now what we need to do is we just need to change the variables right so here we're gonna say just one second here we're gonna use gdp first here we're gonna use gdp and then here we're gonna use the mean gdp okay means we have to subtract a mean from the actual values okay here also we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna subtract from nifty and what is it that we want to subtract is mean of nifty all right now we are done with this thing what is it that next we need to do is we need to find the product of this variable and this variable okay so for that what we're gonna do is simply say np dot multiply okay and after doing this in that what we're gonna say is we're gonna put the variables what two variables this one comma this one oops this and this you just put it over here now this is done this will give you the differences for both of these two i mean product of the differences for both of these two variables right so we will just print the table over here let's hit run okay now here we got exactly what we just saw on the board now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the 
mean for this particular thing so for that what you can simply do is you can say you can say np dot mean all right or let yeah you can say np dot mean and you can take this particular variable over here now if you hit enter this is the value which you get and now what you gonna do is you're gonna okay so this is the, the this is the covariance all right you don't need to do anything else so if you want to increase this what you can do is you can simply say np dot sum this is what you can say np dot sum so this is the sum which you get and you can divide it by length of this particular variable which is six right so this is the value which you get so there are two ways you can you just saw right either you can use np dot mean np dot mean and you can simply put that variable this will give you the mean or if you want to do it manually you can do that also now do you know one more thing this is the big way which i just just explained there is a shortest way to do this thing now what is that way we you can simply use np dot cov cov and in that you can put the variables for which you want to find the covariance right what are those two variables those two variables are from this particular data frame frame you want to use first variable is gdp and the second one is same vari data frame growth and out of this what you need to use is nifty so hit enter now here what you get is this particular thing is the covariance okay now if this is not clear to you there is another way which i can tell you so for that what you're gonna do is growth you're gonna type the data frame name and then you're gonna put both of these two variables which is nothing but gdp and another one is nifty this is the data frame and on this you can say covariance and just hit enter this is taking some time it will it will just give you the result so here we got the covariance is 1240 1240 so the value which you see on the diagonal side this is the covariance and this value is nothing but the variance but that's for gdp only and this is also variance for nifty only right so uh, variance is something which i have explained in another video link is given in the description section now there is one thing which you can notice and you might complain about it right and that is here you see the covariance which we found was one zero double three but here what we are getting is one two four zero now let me explain you why is this happening because what it is doing over here here it is finding the sample covariance by default right so what what how does it happen in what exactly happens in sample covariance so here in sample covariance what we do is whatever count we take as denominator we just subtract one out of that so previously we had six minus one which will apparently become five and now when you divide you get one two four zero all right so this is the thing which you get as answer for covariance for these two particular variables gdp and nifty like why do we subtract one in sample covariance that's something i would explain if you put that into the comment section if i get 20 at least same comment then i'm going to explain you that okay now stay to the point here we the value which we got is either 1033 or 1240 whatever value we got we got it as a positive number okay so now basis on this we can say that both of these two variables are sharing the positive relation means if gdp is increasing nifty is also increasing or if gdp is falling nifty is also falling now you must be noticing this particular word since the time i started to explain it what does this actually mean and why is it here this is because here we just saw that it is showing the positive relation right both of these two variables are sharing the positive variables po positive relation i'm sorry but how strong that positivity is how are you gonna find that if you look at this number this is quite huge you it's really difficult to signify that make it significant right so for that what we do is we use correlation so correlation is used to determine the degree of 
relationship whether it is negative or positive but what is the degree of that relation that's something which we're gonna see in the next video until then happy learning and wish you very all the best